Hey there everybody, big warm welcome back to my YouTube channel. Sorry about the noisy toy. I am gonna get into my weaning vlog, you know, story in just a moment. But first of all, I just wanted to do a little sort of disclaimer at the start of the video, just to say that this is my personal weaning journey. I am not saying that this is the right way to wean. I am not telling you how to wean. I'm just showing you how I'm doing it with my children. And I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not giving you advice. I'm just sharing because, because that's what I do on here. I just share, but I am not preaching. Any sort of advice that you want to give to me, just, how do I put this? It's not that I'm saying don't give advice, but just be be mindful of how you word things. You know, we're not, I, my platform is not for negative comments and not for hate. So if there's something you see on my video that you disagree with, that's absolutely fine, but there's no need to let me know really, because I'm happy with how, with how I have weaned my children. So yeah, I just wanted to just throw that in there. Please do enjoy my weaning video guys and yeah, we'll see you soon. Hey everybody, welcome to day one of weaning week. This is the week where little Chopsy Doos is gonna try his first food. Well, um, tell a lie, sorry Trevor's eating, that's really loud. He has had a couple of like finger food things, like he's had a bit of our toast once and um, I can't think what else. He's like played with things a little bit, but this is the first week where we're gonna, we're gonna be really giving things a go. So I'm really sort of laid back about it. He is my second baby. And the first time around, I remember with Leo feeling a bit overwhelmed with it all, but honestly this time around, I'm just like, okay. So I'm pretty much just gonna try and sort of repeat how I did it with Leo, because I was pretty happy with it, but I have sort of upped it a little bit just because I'm less sort of anxious than I was when I had Leo, I guess. So we are gonna be doing a mix of pureed foods and finger foods, because that's how, that's how we roll, that's how we wanna do it. And I'm gonna take it so, so steady this week. I don't wanna overwhelm him. I don't wanna give him too much at once. I'm literally just gonna give him something new once a day. So every day he'll just have something new to try. So it's not not too much. I'm only gonna do it once a day. So, so it's important to say, if you are a first time weaner, that it is not a food substitute. So their bottle intake won't change. And it's literally just like a bit of fun and games to start with. So you want to feed them between bottles when they are not hungry. So now is the perfect time. He's not due a bottle for like an hour, so he's not hungry at all yet. Uh, he's in a good mood because he's just woken up. So think about your timing, make sure they're not tired, make sure they're not hungry, and then just have fun with it. They're not gonna swallow anything. It's gonna end up on the floor, it's gonna end up on them, but they're just learning and it's just a bit of fun really. So I've just got back from Asda and got some things for us this week. I got some baby porridge and that is what we are going to be trying today. So we're gonna be keeping it nice and bland today. Um, with Leo, I used to give him the Actimel porridge. They didn't have that, so I'm trying the cow and gate, but I can't imagine there's too much difference, to be honest, they're probably all the same. And I got a few other things for us to play with in the week as well. But for today, like I said, we're just doing one thing a day. And today we're just gonna try a little bit of creamy porridge. So mummy's gonna make it up now. And we're gonna have a go. I've just given him a spoon to keep him quiet and happy. We are feeding in the bumbo for now. I do have a high chair. It's there, but it's actually not ready yet. I'm giving it a bit of a high chair glow up that I haven't done yet, so it's not ready. So just for now, I'm feeding him in the bumbo. It really doesn't matter, to be honest, as long as they're somewhere safe and secure and they're sitting upright. So the bumbo will do perfectly for today. I'm using a bib and a bowl that were kindly sent to me from Mama Maid, which is a subscription baby food service, which um, I might be using another day in this week. I don't know, I'll see how I get on. He did not appreciate the bib right now, so I took it off. I want him to be in a good mood. I want him to be happy and not crying or anything. So if he doesn't want to wear the bib today, it's not an issue. <gasps> ready, 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 ready. <laughs> What was that? What was that? What 
what do you think? I'm gonna stop. Hey! It's supposed to be fun, like as soon as he's not enjoying it, I'm gonna stop. Is that good? <laughs> I mean, the faces, the faces he's pulling, I'm surprised he's not crying. Well, he is stripped clean and wiped down and he's happy, he's in a good mood. Was it fun? Don't be fooled by the face, I swear he's happy. He was just giggling when I was getting in jest. So guys, that's it for day one. Like I said, this is a laid back, very gentle approach to weaning. That was our little experience for day one. And we're gonna repeat it tomorrow about the same time. And we're gonna try something different. So we will see you, we will see you tomorrow. Morning everybody, welcome to day two of weaning week. Say hi. So the same as yesterday, we're doing it at pretty much the same time. So we've just dropped my eldest off at school. It is just like 10 past nine in the morning. So he's not due a bottle. Um, he had a nap in the car, so he's not tired, he's not hungry. Um, it's the perfect time to try some food, isn't it, mate? What I'm doing this morning is I'm gonna give him a bit of porridge like I did yesterday. I'm gonna do that every morning. I want him to get used to the spoon and the fact that spoon, you know, equals food. So I am gonna give him the porridge. <laughs> he loves the spoon. <laughs> the same as I did yesterday. But then I'm also gonna give him some finger food as well. So the brand new thing that we're gonna to try today, because I'm gonna try one new thing every day, is banana. We're gonna try a banana today. <gasps> is that good? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. So I've cut it in half so it's a little bit skinnier for him to hold. There we go. Okay, try again. Oh, you don't like this one. I think it's safe to say you did not enjoy the nana. Honestly guys, it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter, like don't, don't freak out if they don't like things when you're weaning. Like he's never, he's never had food before. Like there are some foods and textures that you're gonna give them where they're gonna be like, nah. But then a few times later, they might change their mind. Once they're more used to tastes and textures and stuff, they might decide they like it. So don't panic if they don't like something. It doesn't mean that they're not gonna eat it. Keep giving it to them, keep trying, and you know, eventually they'll probably change their mind. I mean, all babies like bananas. I'm sure you'll like them one day. Morning everybody, welcome to day three of weaning week. So I just remembered that Beacon also sent me this bib, which is like got sleeves and it's soft and he is wearing it without moaning. So hallelujah, this is, I'm gonna get more of these. This is amazing. And also I won't have to change his clothes because he's like completely covered. So this morning, we are doing it a little bit differently. Puree wise, I'm gonna give him a, few, a fruit Sorry, puree this morning. I'm going to chop up some banana and some strawberries and I'm gonna mix it up in my Tommy Tippy baby food blender. So we're gonna try some puree fruit this morning. Yes, we are. And then finger food, I'm gonna give him some strawberry and banana melty puffs. He tried one of these last night curiosity got the better of me and I gave him one to try at dinner time and he loved it so I'll show you those in just a moment but first of all I'm just going to mix all this up and get this ready poor little sausage had a rough night he's got his first ever cold haven't you my darling he's got a cough and a cold so whether that's going to affect how he um, eats this morning and you know his mood and whether he wants to try stuff I don't know but he seems in a good mood. He's just had a little nap. He's not hungry, so I'm gonna go for it. Blended strawberry and banana, let's see. You hold it. Oh, is that good? Is that good, my darling? Well, he wasn't too sure about that one. As you saw, he kept changing his mind. I'm just gonna give him one of these Ella's Kitchen Melty Puffs. 
So they are really good size and really good shape. They can hold them really easily. And when they get in their mouth, when they get wet, they literally like, they literally like melt in their mouth. Ah. Good, my darling. The one he's having is strawberry and banana flavor. So I would call the strawberry and banana puree like a half, half win. Like there were moments when he was smiling and there were moments when he wasn't. Yeah, there were moments when he seemed to be enjoying the strawberry and banana mix and then and then he'd look like he wasn't enjoying it. But I don't know, it's hard to judge this morning because he is full of cold, so it is a bit hard to judge. But these are going down swimmingly, so that's good. These are definitely a win, so at least we've had one win for today that I'm going to call today a success, especially, especially as he's got a little cold. Right, I haven't added to this video for ages. Sorry, there's a drill in the background, ignore that. Because Cooper has been poorly. He's had his first cold and he's been really unwell for the past few days. So I just stopped weaning altogether. He just wasn't up for it at all. He was barely drinking milk, never mind solids. So that's why I haven't filmed this for a few days. But he is feeling, he is feeling brighter now and i am going to give him a solid now today for the first time in like three or four days i would say i'll just show you what i got for him there is no shop bought shame here like you know i am not one of those mums who preaches everything homemade organic whatever like i do make some things myself as you saw me do before he got poorly but you know shop bought i'm a huge fan of I'll, I'll i'll give him anything you know i don't mean anything but you know what i mean i'm gonna give him a uh, kitchen packet so i'm gonna give him some sweet potatoes today and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna warm it up because i would not want to eat cold sweet potato i don't think you would either fair enough if it's like a, a fruit puree but sweet potato i'm gonna warm this up I also wanted to show you this because this is a development since I last added to this video. So this is the standard IKEA high chair and using a company on Instagram called, called Printer Poodle, who I will put in the description box, you can completely change the look of the IKEA high chair. So I've got an insert cushion, a placemat, footrest, leg stickers and it does not look like a 12 pound Ikea high chair at all. So he's gonna sit in that for the first time today and I'm gonna give him a little bit of pureed sweet potato. This house is loud today. And then I'm gonna give him a little bit of finger food as well because I like to give him a bit of both. So yeah, I'm just gonna go and get that ready. Look at you. So cozy in your big boy chair. Do you want a spoon? Loves to play with the spoon. Okay, so I've warmed it up a little bit. I just put it in for like 15 seconds. So it is slightly warmer. And let's see what he thinks. What's that? Oh my gosh, is that good? I think we got a winner. Do you know what? I think it makes a difference it being warm as well. Like everything I've given him cold so far, like the cold fruit purees and stuff he's not been that big a fan of but the warm porridge he was a fan of so i think with cooper it looks like he's going to prefer things to be nice and warm is that good have we got the noisiest house in the world okay i'm gonna finish that was a success as you can see happy boy he had about a third of it maybe which is not bad at all. For finger food, I'm gonna give him some watermelon. Goopy. I'm just gonna let him hold it. I'm not sure what he's gonna make of this. Ooh. What do you think? Yeah, you hold it. Cooper, hold it. You don't wanna hold it. Not sure about that one, are you? Maybe I need to think of some like warm, 
finger food, seeing as he prefers everything at a certain temperature. So loud. Sorry, it's so loud. Hey guys, good morning. It is the morning, as you can see. I am looking rough. Time is like half seven. I feel like we've been up for hours already, you know. But anyway, this is the last entry I'm going to do for my um, week's weaning video. We've had our ups. We've had our downs. Very, very normal. Obviously, he was a bit poorly as well, which didn't help. But this morning, I am going to give him something that I know that he'll like and something new. So he's got something new and something tried and tested. So something that I know he'll like is I'm going to give him some warm porridge for breakfast because he's had that before and it went down really well. So I'm going to give him some porridge. And then for something new, I'm going to make him some toast fingers to have with his porridge as well so i'm literally just going to make him some toast slice it up into handy little sizes for baby hands and i'm just going to put some non-salted butter on the toast so it's nice and um buttery and tasty i think he'll like it he's definitely more a fan of the warm variety of foods and I think he'll like the toast, I think he'll like the texture of it, you know, he wasn't a fan of like the watermelon and the like cold sort of slimy finger foods yet. So I think maybe this he will be a fan of, I don't know. So yeah, porridge and toast fingers are on the menu this morning. What have I got? Let's put them here. What is it? Good boy. That nice. Ooh, is that good? Let's see if he likes it. Yeah. Do we like it? <gasps> While he is playing with his um, what shall I say, sucking his toasty fingers, I will go make his porridge. I can still see him. He's just there. Leo's just there as well. So I'm just going to make his porridge up now before he gets bored. Let me put some on the spoon. There. You do it. Oh, is that nice? I know you want, you want the spoon. I know you want the spoon. Okay, as you can see, he's definitely more interested in the dog than the food now, which I'm gonna take as a sign that he's had enough of the food and he's probably ready to get down and like i've mentioned before like quit while you're ahead don't don't wait for them to start crying and get cross and things like make this a positive experience so i can see that he's starting to lose interest now so it's probably a good time to call it a day before he gets cross or upset guys that was my first week weaning video I hope you enjoyed. It was a bit of everything. There was a bit of shop bought, a bit of homemade, a bit of um, finger foods, a bit of purees. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit of everything. Like, yeah. Have I not got school today? Yes, you've got school today, darling. So I hope you enjoyed. Keep all the comments, you know, as positive as possible. Like I said in the beginning, I need to go and get this very, very filthy baby clean and get that big baby ready for school but thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you in our next video say bye say bye